Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at sunspots, coronal holes, a big earthquake that happened last night, and two excellent studies on magnetic pole shifts, one on cooling and another on extinctions. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find there were more eruptive events around the limbs and on the far side, but the Earth-facing half of the sun did remain pretty quiet dark coronal hole turning through central longitudes. Space weather remains pretty quiet at Earth as the solar wind calms, so let's peek in on the sunspots, where one big umbral core on the left is pretty much all we've got, lumbering along, pretty much by itself. We would need to see significant development if these are going to flare in a big way, but thinking about the far side eruptions the last two days, helioseismically, those black regions within the yellow field are far side sunspots, and they're big ones, likely where those eruptions were least they'll be turning into face earth next week quick look at the coronal hole directly facing earth today its solar wind will largely sail north of us but we are likely to get clipped by the enhanced stream of solar wind on monday minor geomagnetic storm conditions are expected so let's go next to seismicity where a 7.5 rocked the drake passage at the southern point of south america near antarctica it initially rang in at 8.0 but was downgraded luckily it was well out to sea and too small to create a tsunami of any relevance excellent paper up next highlighting the signs that major cooling events follow magnetic pole shifts this tracks with what observers expect in the next few decades as the current magnetic pole shift unfolds and the temperature swings the other direction from the last 200 years even more relevant this study ties the five great extinctions to magnetic pole shifts and further to the correlation between magnetic pole shifts and atmospheric oxygen levels. The study also noted that it's not whether the field is baseline high power or low, it's all about the inflection points of changing field strength. The bigger the change, the bigger the impact on Earth's environment and the creatures living within it. Folks, the next Pole Shift Conference is tomorrow. Observer Meetup next week, and trust me, if you've never been around other observers, you really can't know what you're missing. Conference and Founders Day next month as well, and then a full dance card in October and November. We're still trying to figure out which weekend is best for the documentary premiere, but it is looking like the last weekend in November. Details hopefully finalize soon. Check out the events and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com, or give us a call. We love talking to you guys. We greatly appreciate your support. Port. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.